<laughs> I'm Joe and this is Vic and we live on this narrow boat and we've got a cafe boat. Uh, that's it, but people want to be excited. Oh. You've got to get excited. Okay. Excite them. Okay. Um, I'm Joe and this is Vic. Oh. You're doing it. You're getting it. All right. It needs to be something more like this. Welcome to the show with Vic and Joe. <laughs> we follow narrow water roads in metal boats. We loaded them up with all our clothes, dreams and hopes. So how's a business gonna sink if it floats? No. That's what I thought. See, the money's not important. It's all about the coffee that we're pouring. The cakes that we're baking that come out on an angle. Nearly too much boat for us to handle. How? So why not lend a little hand a thumbs up to be precise to tell the YouTube algorithm that you liked it. It's nice and a slower pace of life can be exciting. And if you're new here, you ought to be subscribing. Let's subscribe. Good morning. Um, I've come down to Holly from Zero. They're moored up separately. I don't know if we showed you that when we were mooring up. Zero's up further into town. I don't know if it's town or a village. I got up early this morning because we were getting a delivery or a, like a wholesale delivery. But because uh, this town village is so cute, um, the, they've just rung Vic and said that the 18, t 18 ton, is it? 18 ton truck or 18 wheeler, whatever. Um, can't fit into can't get around here so they're gonna come back on monday oh. hiya morning vic has come over to help with the taking the the boards off the window because they're all on the canal side now because the towpath keeps changing side um but the all the sun's coming from over there so we're going to take them off so that then we can warm holly up it's a precarious operation isn't it? yeah <laughs> I used to be quite cavalier about walking down the uh, gunnels near the water until I fell in. Please don't fall into there. It's, the sun may be shining, but it's still it's pretty cool. chilly. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Anytime. So I'm going to prime it in white, just one coat, and then do two coats of the blackboard stuff. I'm trying to do this really carefully and with like minimal equipment because now we're just on the towpath. Um, it's a bit harder to like wash everything. It was good when we when we had the mooring. It's easy to like wash paint brushes. Had a water tap right there. But here it's not like I can use the cafe sink to like wash up this stuff. So that's how I'm, I'm just doing it from the paint tin and we've put these boards down to stop it going anywhere on the grass or anything. They are all primed now. It's totally, all the boats that were here have just left. So we're on our own here now. Um, yeah. I kind of got to get this done quick because then I need to go to the shop and start making cakes for tomorrow. Especially as people keep going past and asking when we're up and I feel like I've said cakes. I need to make some. I don't know if you can hear that bird that's like woof, woof, woof. but um, I'm just I've just started baking and I've set my timer on my phone and I'll play you the timer because it's exactly the same as that bird and I could hear it and it was and it was just like keep doing it in like a really repetitive pattern and I was like that's not been it they've not been in the oven for an hour and it's that little critter How similar is that? There's so much chocolate in these brownies. This is the what's going to be melted. Under there is six bars of the green and black 70% dark chocolate. So I think these are going to be so chocolatey and gooey. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. And look at the view out of the side hatch. Could it be any more quaint English countryside? All the cakes are made now. Just gotta 
do a bit of washing up. I'll bake some more tomorrow, I think, on the morning so that they're fresh. Um, I can't remember where I left you last because um, it got really busy. I got really busy with baking and then the weekend was um, busy here as well so we didn't manage to film much. But that order that I was waiting for on Friday, oh, I think I told you that they, um, they couldn't deliver it because it was too big of a van. But it's Monday now and it's just turned up. So we're so happy. I was so nervous that we won't be able to get anything. But um, we've unloaded it to the side of the road. Dan's here with his trolley. And we're going to take it to Holly. I can't see anything. Uh, Yay! Cool, isn't it? Yeah, alright. But the crisps are the lightest things. Yeah, but maybe that's what's quite. <laughs> but they're quite voluminous. Oh. So I'll just get the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Lift with the, lift with the legs. I was going to say lift with your back. That's like the opposite. Yeah. I'll stand guard. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like just having anything stocked. Yeah, it's great because we really run out of stuff and it's horrible when you have to say to people, yeah, nah, we don't, we don't have it. It'd be good if we can get a dairy supplier for milk. Yeah, that'd be really great. I think it's getting the crisps out. Payment for today. Yeah. Vegan approved. Hello, been approved by at least one vegan. <laughs> Thank you. Just doing business. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure ruining my own business. Felt good. Felt good serving crisps. <laughs> They're nice packets. Great job. Well done. <laughs> well done, team. <laughs> You've got to check that my spelling's right. All right. I'm not very reliable. This looks great. Disturbed a spider. That there is spider poo. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's had their home there for a while, but it's time to move on, buddy. Hello. in anything you do at some point you've got to decide like that's enough like I know I know enough kind of thing don't you because you can just go down a wormhole with more or less anything like with coffee obviously I'm learning with singing just with anything so like but I'm, I'm already at that point really with engines Hello. Hi. Hiya. Hi. I can never tell whether what you're actually using is important or whether it's just the kind of placebo effect of the vigour you give a fresh belief. I think that until the autosol layer. Because <laughs> yeah, this will come up shiny now. Some... Yeah, shiny air anyway. Must be. That is loads better than it was though. It's good isn't it? I've been doing this new, well I, I read this book called Breath and I've been doing this breathing technique that's from it 
there's not really much of a technique involved. It's basically the message of the book is breathe through your nose, don't ever breathe through your mouth. So I've noticed that on there, when I'm talking to the camera sometimes and then I've been editing it, I'm going like, because I'm obviously really conscious of it now, so I'm, I'll be like talking away and stuff and then going, <laughs> it look, just looks mad taking like a big, <laughs> massive Snorting like intake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just going, like yeah, but would normally really be silent. Yeah, I'd normally just go like, or I don't know what you'd normally do now, I've sort of like lost, I've become too conscious of it and lost track of what's normal or not. But it's not that. Vic's already over at Holly. I'm gonna go over and collect all the washing that needs to be done. Tea towels and aprons and everything like that. We need to wash on a 90 degree wash. So it's times like this. I'm so pleased we've got a washing machine on zero. Wow, my hair's pretty much dried in the time it took for me to get to Holly. What have you been up to? I've been mostly sorting out the stock here, generally tidying up and uh, trying to get it a bit more ship shape ready for our expanded operations that are gonna go on as the weather warms up. I'm talking your cold drinks, I'm talking your ice creams, I'm talking getting stuff in from dairy suppliers and having room to fit all of that. Yeah. Also another little coffee training day. Yep. Follow me. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to get all these tea towels. Oh. We're running low on camera battery so that's why we're doing this a little bit frantically. Ah! Plonk. What's been going on? But I just had a call from the suppliers who had been speaking to all week. And um, because of the problem we had last week with the 18 ton truck, that's proven to be quite a big, a big thing. Like we're, because we're moving all the time, that's not like obviously standard. And then the, the fact that we're in weird places or down some country lanes and things isn't, isn't helping us either. It's not really going that well, but. I feel like this is what we signed up for. We wanted to do it's local okay. and things, so we're just going to have to do it the the hard way. Yeah. It is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I thought we'd say we're in Orawas now, which is a weird sounding uh, name for a town. There's loads of flies here. <laughs> which I've learned, I read somewhere, it's a weird name, gets its name from, uh, it's all kicking off here, can't get the exposure right, got flies in my eyes, it gets its name from older wash, as in uh, the trees being washed, because uh, there there's a river that goes through this town, this village. It's really nice and picturesque. So Orewas is just sort of like, I guess, a, a corruption or an evolution of older wash, which I suppose it, it was apparently called back in the day. When they used to make baskets out of the older trees. Oh, there you go. It's for a basket, it's like, it was known as a basket weave in town. Hmm. Village, I think. Can you see the flies? Yeah, I can barely see you. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Look who's chilling out with her chicks. <laughs> They're not hers. We've seen them with a mum. What have you done? Oh, oh, oh. oh.
You made it. It's like I can hear a tweeting, but where is it? This little head popped out a crack in the <laughs> storms. Oh, and now they've gone off with their adopted mum. <laughs>